Everybody going? Um, how, um, how do you all feel coming out of that meet? So, are there some frustrations? Are there some good things you take from it? Uh, I mean, you guys finished second and you always want to finish first. Coach emphasizes yeah. that. But how do you look at the whole thing? Um, I think we definitely had some spots that were good and we had some routines um, that were really good. But overall, we definitely know that we have things to improve on. And um, just, I mean, it's the fourth, it was the fourth meet of the season, so we're kind of getting into the middle part where you really have to fine tune. Um, so I think that's where we're at right now, and I think we just need to kick it up a notch with that, and we'll be fine. Do you think you got a 10 on floor? I don't know. I haven't watched it. You so. can't, like, feel it when you're out there? like. I mean, I know when it's like, I mean, for that on my feet, then I obviously did well, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I haven't watched it. Did you ever get to ask a judge what they didn't like? Oh, no. no. We don't ask, so. <laughs> Will you watch the video? Uh, yeah, eventually. We have to do, like, film, so I'll see it eventually. But, yeah. I just haven't gotten around to it. I just, yeah. I just, yeah. Huh? You didn't check your Twitter yesterday? No. <laughs> Brandon got a lot of retweets on the LSU account. Are you proud? Is that why you asked? I just, you said you didn't watch it, but it was there. Uh, I did it's not check Twitter. Twitter account. I don't get, account. like, I don't get, like, <laughs> notifications on my phone or anything. I just kind of get on whenever I feel like it. <laughs> uh, do you feel like you kind of flourish in that um, floor anchor spot, and, and, and why so? Um, I don't. I don't really know. I feel like um, regardless of if I'm sixth or second, like I was last year so many times, um, I think that I'm doing kind of the same. I don't know. <laughs> like I, it doesn't like the spot hasn't really like changed my mindset or changed um, the way that I approach it or anything like that. But I mean, it's it's nice to be there and it's nice to know that they trust me to finish things off. So that feels really nice. You're number one in the country on that event. So have you noticed that at all? Or no, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I also don't look at that either. <laughs> you had to figure you're up there. Though. I mean, I know that I've been doing well, but I. Uh... So you say your mindset hasn't changed. What is your mindset then when you go to the floor? Because it's been a strong event here for years. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just like every other event that we go to, you want to get up and you want to hit. Um, but usually floor is towards the end of the meet, obviously. And so um, you just want to cap it off really nicely with a really good floor routine. Um, I just kind of go out there and just focus on each pass one at a time. Um, and just honestly, I kind of get caught up in the moment a little bit and I forget what I did like when I come off the floor. Um, <clears throat> so I think that kind of happens whenever you're just free and having fun. So There have been other uh, programs uh, that have posted <coughs> some higher scores than y'all have had so far this season, some of the other hi hi highly ranked programs. A lot of them haven't had the consistency y'all have had. <coughs> so what do you, how do you balance the two and say, okay, maybe it's time to try to show some improvement here, improvement there? Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> I think, like I said earlier, um, we have some fine tuning to do. And um, while we have been consistent, we have been, you know, hitting routines and um, doing really well with that part. Uh, that's good. That's great and everything. But like I said, we need to just perfect a th few things here and there and then make that the new consistency that we have, the new, the new bar. Do you think it, it, you feel confident that you all have that in you as a team? Yeah, I mean, for sure. It's it's the very beginning of the season, so obviously things are going to be up and down and you're still going to be shaking things out, kind of. it's We're not going to look like we will in April and January. Um, if you do, then that's really hard to keep up. So, um, I mean, I'm not, you know, frustrated or disappointed or anything like that. It's just a learning curve, and I think that, um, you know, we've hit that spot where we have got to turn a corner, um, but I don't think it's anything we can't handle, for sure. What's the emotion surrounding an almost 10? Is it, you know, excitement for a high score? Is it frustration that you were close but didn't get it? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Well, it, it was, at this time it was weird, like different just because, um, like I was the last routine of like the whole meet basically. So after I was done, they were like, okay, the meet's over, let's wrap it up. So there wasn't really a lot of like fanfare or like everybody like waiting in anticipation. You know, I was like just trying to hurry up and get my warm ups back on and like move on. Um, but I mean, it's it's nice to know that I'm doing well and that the judges think that I'm doing well. And regardless of if it's a nine 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 seven five ten whatever, um, they obviously thought that it was pretty good, pretty close to perfect. And I mean, that's that's all I strive for is just to get better and better each week. Um, so I mean, it's it's nice, I guess, that people are so like engrossed in it, the almost ten and everything. But I mean, if if it's meant to come, it'll come eventually. I just have to keep doing my job. Once you get that 10, how do you get better and better every week? Um, 
Well, I guess if you guys have noticed, it's pretty subjective. So <laughs> whether or not you get a 10, um, you probably still have something you can improve on, whether it's the smallest thing, like a straightened leg or a pointed toe or this or that. Um, there's, there's always something you can do. Are you pleased? I mean, you have to be pleased overall. You know these are good routines. You haven't had less than a 995, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pleased with how it's going. But, I mean, it's just it's kind of the same thing that I do in practice every day. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I just try to go out there and just do the same thing that I've been doing in the gym because um, I've done it a million times in the gym. I know I can do it, so. Just kind of going off that, I mean, I get the vibe that you don't really care about the individual <laughs> scores and whatnot. Do you take any satisfaction out of here, or is it all team-based? Yeah, I mean, it's, like, it's nice. Like, you don't want to go out there and mess up or do like you know or do like less than what you know you can do like that to me is more frustrating than anything is like if you do a routine and um it wasn't your best and you know like you know that but I mean it's all for the team it really is I have I have other like individual accolades and all that sort of thing which is nice um but I would really rather have you know that national championship as a team and be able to say that I was on that team who did that and so like that's what I'm working for each LSU sport has access to a nutritionist. Can you mm -hmm. talk about Rebecca Moore and what your relationship's like with her? Yeah, she's great. Um, she's new this year, and she's really made an effort to come in and get to know all of us and get to know everybody like on a personal level. Because when it's nutrition, like it is a personal thing. You, it's not just a blanket, you know, um, do this, not that kind of thing. So uh, I'm really thankful we have her. She's she's so sweet, and she just came in here and was like, "What can I help you with?" Like right away, um, and that's pretty much her attitude towards everything like how can I make y'all better and I really like that so and she was a form she was a gymnast in college so she kind of like gets that um aspect of it because it is like such a different sport than everything else um but yeah she's like she's really helpful and I really enjoy having her what's something you have to like stay away from during the season uh, like food wise that you really like you know? mm, I don't know <laughs> like, no, I, mean, I just I don't I'm not like like I don't have you don't look to eat, eat yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm, I've never, I'm very bland. Like, I'm kind of picky a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I have to stay away from a lot of things because there's, like, a lot of things that, like, burgers and pizza and stuff, I don't really like it that much because it makes me feel, like, bad, you know? And, like, when I, like, it makes me want to, like, lay around all day, and I don't <laughs> like that. Like, I like to feel energized and not, like, I just ate a giant burger. I don't know. It's like all I eat. Yeah, I mean, and, but, I mean, I, like, if I want a burger, like, I'll have a burger. It's not a big deal. But it's just, like, yeah. So I don't know. And then... You just have to feel your body and know what you're going for. So I don't really have a problem with staying away from things, especially during season, because I'm like, I want to feel good for practice the next day, you know. So which is kind of something you have to train yourself to do. But Rana just had a raisin cane sandwich. I don't. I don't like raisin canes. I don't like raisin canes. Do you know what Zaxby's is? I love Zaxby's. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nick. Yeah. Nick, Nick and I think Zaxby's is better. It is. It, if we had a Zaxby's, if we had a Zaxby's like close enough to yeah, here, I might be in a little bit of trouble. There's one like 20 minutes away. Yeah. yeah. At two, 20 minutes, it's too much. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's fine. Yeah, that's too far. Any serious questions? Yeah. Anything other than Zaxby's? I'm just kidding. They have good Zaxby's. The scoring the performances earlier. Obviously, you, know, you guys have had been over 197 mm -hmm. every meet for years. Yeah. Uh, you know, so that's excellent consistency. And so, you know, not everyone's getting those kind of questions, but you guys, not everyone's got a dozen media people. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of the bar is set very high. Right. Y'all have set with your performances and and created expectations that are high. Do you, I mean, you kind of do you embrace that and accept? Yeah. That? I mean, we always want to build from each year. Um, and this coming off a second place finish last year and the one before that, um, that's kind of where our bar is. We're like, we want to make it back to Super 6, and we're in the running for a national championship every year. And that's something that we recognize. And, I mean, one of the ways to do that and to feel confident once you get there is to have that sort of consistency that we've had. Um, like you said, like going 197 plus for years. Like that, that sort of thing is um, just a testament to how the coaches um, train us and how – to get us ready for every single meet and how we're prepared. Um, since I've been here, that's been like the common theme. So, I mean, I think we're I think we're doing well, and it is definitely like Didi says, the pride and tradition. Like that's what it is, honestly. Like, um, you know, LSU. We want to represent. We want to do well and do the best for LSU. So. And this gets you back to the back to the SEC meet. She talks about winning every meet. It's not, mm -hmm. just, not, not just good enough to have a good score. She wants to win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You definitely, I mean, you definitely want to come out with a win for sure. Um, it does a lot for self-confidence and just, um, you know, overall 
I don't know, I, I guess overall confidence for everyone um, to come out with a win is always what you want to do, so. Thanks, Thank, Thank you. you. If you're a fan of pick sixes, walk-offs, and buzzer beaters, or anything LSU sports, subscribe below.